This is the Lockpicking Lawyer, and Happy Halloween to everyone! Today, we're keeping with the spirit of the day by picking locks using an electric pumpkin saw, a tool that ranks right above the electric DVD rewinder on the list of the most useless inventions in human history. But maybe we can find a use for this by converting it into an electric lockpicking gun. Before we start, I need to give credit where it's due. This is a project that I first saw completed a couple years ago by Jimmy Longs, so thank you to him for the inspiration. Now this pumpkin saw has a blade which moves in and out rapidly when activated. That's very similar to a raking motion, so what I want to do is replace this blade with a wave rake tip similar to this one. It's actually something that I've already done, so let me tell you how I did that. I took the plastic base of one of these saws, placed it in the vise such that the blade was horizontal. I then heated it up using a lighter while at the same time pulling on the blade with a pair of pliers. As soon as the plastic softened, the blade came right out. I then shoved a pick tip into it, followed by a drop of super glue, and after it dried, it was ready to go. So let me put this into the pick gun and give it a try. Okay, I think we're ready to go, and what better lock to start with than a master lock number three. Let's get a tension wrench in there. And that was pretty quick. I have this unbranded Chinese shrouded padlock. Let's try that one next. Again, pretty fast. Oh, I didn't quite turn that enough. Next, I have a quick set rim cylinder. One took a little bit longer, but we did get it open. And let's close this out with this Brinks cable lock. And that one was pretty fast as well. Now, I don't want to give you the impression that this creation is something special. I showed you just a few locks on which I already knew it worked. To be frank, I find my normal raking technique a little bit more effective. That's because not only do I go in and out, but I also incorporate a rocking motion. I find that works very quickly most of the time. Even so, this was a really fun project. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe and have a fun and safe Halloween.